All right. Well, Paul, I appreciate you doing this interview. Um, before we get started, you know, I've got nasal congestion. I don't always sound like uh, sound like this. This, although it'd be great to be a country music singer and have this type of voice. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, I don't. I just got a nasal congestion. And uh, but, anyways, I appreciate you doing this and, and kind of giving them, you know anyone who's going to watch this this interview some insight of what it's like to be a client of Replace Your Mortgage. So, uh, first question: How did you hear about us? How did you come across Replace Your Mortgage and decide to? Uh, well, before you get into how you decided to become a client, just tell us how you came across us. Yeah. So it was a Facebook ad, just uh, laying in bed pretty late at night, uh, scrolling through Facebook. And um, I came across an ad for Replace Your Mortgage. Um, so I was pretty skeptical at the time. You know, you see a lot of crazy stuff on Facebook and uh, started doing more research and got over to your free videos on YouTube. And I, I binge watched all of them and it seemed to make sense. And you know, talked with my wife and we said, no, oh, let's, you know, take one of the free calls and, and see, if, you know, if this makes sense. Okay. And before you did that discovery call, which for anybody that's watching this and listening to this, we, we do a, a free 45 minute discovery call because we don't allow everyone to become a client. So the purpose of that discovery call is to ensure that this makes sense for you. You know, because if you're not cash flow positive, if you're not post budget, meaning you've already mastered your budget, this doesn't make sense for everybody. Maybe they should stay on a mortgage for now or do some type of chunking on that mortgage and then graduate to this level. So this isn't for everybody. Um, you know, statistically, I, I would say about 30% of the folks that come to us is who we're looking for in a client. 70% need to, you know, kind of stay doing what they're doing and, and kind of move up a few levels from there. Um, so we offer a free 45 minute consultation where any major questions and concerns that you have after watching the videos, we'll answer those. And then we also dig into the calculations to make sure that this makes sense before we move forward and teach you some more advanced strategies. But before you did your discovery call, what was your initial thoughts of this concept or, or just us as a, a company or even me as a person? Like I get some people that <laughs> so, so many trolls on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, like, that's the face of a scammer right there. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> well, you well, know, I'm, I'm my face. It was funny because I hate to interrupt you, but like this whole face app thing that came out. Now the Russians are going to have it, and I get people like, "Oh, you put it out there. <laughs> You're going to have the rights to your face." I'm like, I'm honored that anybody will want to use my face. Yeah, right. The joke's on them, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you know, I I'm pretty skeptical when I see stuff online. And uh, for this, I was pretty skeptical, and I did a lot of due diligence looking into it. You know, I found several books that, that teach a similar method to, to this. Um, you know, they, I, I think I may have even bought one, but, it, you know, it, it doesn't go into a lot of detail like what your education does. Um, but it, it validated that what you're talking about is real, and it's just because I kept on what was going through my mind was, how is it I've never heard of this? And none of my friends are doing this. And, you know, my dad, who was a CPA, why didn't he ever teach me this, right? It's just, it's one of those things where you're like, you know, the red, pl red pill versus the blue pill, you know, mm -hmm. why wouldn't anybody know about this or do this? So that's why I was very skeptical about it. There's a lot of get rich, scheme, you know, quick schemes. And when you, you know, when you pitch it as pay your home off in, in what is it, four to six years or whatever it's like you got a 30-year mortgage how is that possible Some of the trolls on, on your you know facebook pages is like this is a scam or whatever um so you know i did a lot of due diligence and, and looked in, into it deeply and um you know what i did find was you know somewhat of a validation that it, it was a, the real deal and so at every step you know i'd ask a lot of questions and I think it was George that did my intake call and I, I grilled him pretty good. I had, I had a lot of questions and he answered all the questions pretty well. Yeah. Awesome. Well, in your honest opinion, what would you say? What would you, I wouldn't say rate the course or give it a number, but you know, now that you're, you're after becoming a client, you got some results. What would you say about the education and what's your honest opinion of it? What would you tell others about the education? I think the education is very, very good. Uh, it's very necessary, not, uh, you know, used to using the strategy. It, it kind of turns everything you, you know and you think about your your family finances and owning a home and everything, and it turns it everything, and it kind of turns it on its head. 
And um, I thought, it, you know, the education was very, very good that, that described the strategy and, and how to go through that. Um, but, you know, I had done so much research on my own and, you know, a lot of this stuff just clicks in my own mind. Um, and so, you know, um, I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe 30 percent of, of the education was a little bit of a rehash of some of the free videos that I had gotten out there, you know. So I kind of had to fast forward a little bit through that um, and, and, and um, you know, if that and, I'll, you know, maybe being completely honest, if that was all that was there, I, I don't think that it would have been worth the money. Um, it's a great, you know, primer to changing, you know, how you think about your, your family finances. But I thought the, the, the real value of the program was some of the bonus videos where they teach us some of the advanced strategies and um, the Facebook group where I are doing things that I had never even thought of or imagined. Um, and I think that's where the real power and the, and the value of it goes. Um, and I think maybe even the questionnaire, because I used the questionnaire pretty religiously when I went through and interviewed all kinds of banks. Um, you know, the questionnaire is very, very helpful. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Um, uh, I only got one more question because two things. One, the internet connection is horrible and you sound like a robot, especially when you said fast forward. You did it in slow, you said fast forward in slow motion. And then the second thing, <laughs> the desk behind you is giving me anxiety. Uh, someone with OC. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, welcome to the the office of an engineer. Yeah. Last question: What have your results been thus far? So, in your, your personal finances, and you don't have to talk about your income or anything of that nature, but just talk about you know where you're kind of at with your mortgage and, and so on. Yeah, so I've done it twice. So I when, when I first signed up, I lived in Georgia. Um, I I got a HELOC on that property, and we paid it down quite a bit. Uh, but I wasn't there long enough to really, you know, see the strategy come to fruition um, quite a bit is um, the, you know, staying liquid or having liquidity and access to your cash in cases where you really might need it. And I feel like, um, you know, that's, that's something, that's another huge benefit of this strategy. Uh, you got to be careful with it, but um, I ended up, choosing to leave my job. I came moving to Michigan to a new position and um, we wanted to buy a house up here in Michigan. And, uh, um, and so I had enough liquidity in my HELOC in my property in Georgia that I was able to put down 20% on my had some liquidity left in the HELOC. And so I just went ahead and because, you know, we didn't know when we were going to sell the place in Georgia or if we were going to sell it. Um, and then the place in Michigan, you know, we wanted to get a traditional mortgage and not do two HELOCs. And so I was able to do that. I was able to get a really amazing interest rate at that time. Um, a very, very low mortgage. Um, and then I just continued the strategy with the place in Georgia. Um, so we finally, you know, and then any liquidity that was left in the HELOC, you know, we, we I went and got a HELOC on the Mich place in, here in Michigan. And so now I'm using the strategy and I've only been maybe four months at the strategy on the HELOC here in Michigan. Um, but it's working, right? You know, my family, we, you know, our budget is, uh, cash flow positive. And so we, we suck all of, the, of our income and, and cash flow from rental properties into that. And uh, it's working great. Um, so, uh, so far the results have been very, very good, but I could, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did when I moved to Michigan without having access to that liquidity. You know, the relocation companies, they, they gave us, you know, an option to give us some amount of our equity, you know, with, you know, but I didn't need that, right? I just pulled it out of the HELOC. I bought the property in Michigan you know, traditional mortgage, and then we continued the strategy until that place sold. And, you know, so that flexibility that allowed me to do that was, um, you know, priceless. Awesome. Well, Paul, I agree. I greatly appreciate uh, your time this morning and uh, I haven't had my coffee yet. So it's hard for my brain to even think right now, but uh, thanks for your time. And this is our second interview because the first one we had some technical difficulties. And then now on this one, we've got some technical difficulties, but 
Hey, such is life. I think uh, anybody that's listening to this or watching this is going to get the gist of what we're talking about. So thank you once again. Yeah. I appreciate your input in the Facebook group. Uh, you're a very valuable member of that Facebook group. So thanks again for all of your input and thanks for doing this interview. So take care, Paul. God bless. Okay. Yep. Have a good one. You too.